Yo, what up, what up, guys? Frankie Tape R here, and this is five things I hate about my 2020 R8 V10. I don't know if my facial expression is giving it away or not, but this is my first video with this set with this camera setup, and I'll show what it looks like. But man, it's scary. Oh, did I just break? Get to turn my car off. I forgot to turn my other car off, didn't I? <laughs> Whoops. Hopefully, where the mic placement is, I didn't mess with the gain yet. So hopefully that it's not too loud and distorted. I literally just left my other car running. All right. All right, so let's get this video on the road and let's hope that camera doesn't fall off. Hopefully it's a good angle too because I can't see the screen right now. I should have been more prepared. I should have downloaded the app or something to like, maybe I could see like in real time on my phone. But this is, it's freaking me out. <laughs> I just bought this camera set up literally like two days before this. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna talk about Ooh, that was a nice RS3 right there. We're gonna talk about five things that I hate about my RE. So now, little backstory, I'm just, I just purchased this RE in October, it is now January. I haven't driven it too much, not that many miles put on it. Um, you know, cause it's winter time here in Jersey. So uh, obviously these things are subject to change. I might enjoy them down the line, stuff like that. Now, uh, right off the rip, one of the things that I hate the most about the R8 is there's no center, no center screen here. And I know that, you know, I got the center screen behind the, it's more of a driver feel. I have the center screen behind the steering wheel and you could do all the functions from that. However, I do like the look of just like a, a center display there. I just feel like it's, it's weird without it. You know, I, I don't know. It's too much of a dailyable supercar, you know, a comfortable daily supercar um, that it shouldn't be, it shouldn't not have a center screen, if that makes sense, you know? It, it's like so center, one person focused, in my opinion, which is nice, and I do love that, but I feel like not in this car. Going into the second thing that I don't like about this car, I'm gonna keep it on topic with the center display. I think that the center display, and like this is one of the ones that can change. The center display, in my opinion, is kind of hard to use. I manage somehow, but like trying to get some of the displays up there, like I wanted to get the right side of the screen to display tire pressure. I couldn't find out for the life of me how to do that. Uh now, you could access all of the these buttons right here right here in the middle but it's still very confusing like when I was trying to change this side of the screen it was really difficult I've never even said okay now okay I gotta, oh, whoop. all right I don't really know what I'm doing here uh, and it took me watching like three videos and I still didn't know how to do it and then I don't know now I got it I got it up there now I don't recall how and I'm not changing it, let's just leave it. I wanna know the tire pressure and tire temperatures. In my opinion, it's the best thing to have in the car while driving so you can know if the tires are warmed up. Now my third thing that I would say about the car, and if you guys follow me on any other social media, you're gonna hear me till I'm blue in the face. And this is changing. So on the in a next couple of videos, you will see this, this changed, but is the paddles. The paddle shifters are so light and like a mouse click. It's like, it's just not tactical. It doesn't feel strong. It feels very weak. You know, you give me a big V10 and a monster car. It's not like other cars. It's not like the Huracan. It's not like, it should feel like I'm loading an AR when I'm shifting this thing. You know, it should just feel tactical. 
So yeah, I, I hate that about this car, but I am going to be changing it. And it's not just like a little pop-on change. I'm going to changing the whole mechanism inside of the steering wheel to go with the magnetic um, style one. The fourth thing that I dislike about this car would have, have to be, and this is only because this is something that's not needed. But for me, I don't like it for one simple factor of I've driven Huracans before and the Huracan has one feature that I wish that this had even though it's damn near the same car and that's throwing it into neutral via paddle shifters right and it's it's something so like stupid and minuscule but it bothers me so on, on a Huracan if you guys don't know if you hit both paddle shifters at the same time the plus the minus like up, up shift and down shift at the same exact time it will throw you in neutral then you could rev the car and stuff like that. And I know that is something so stupid, like I said. Um, but to me, I think that's so important because if like someone is like walking by and you know, it's pretty common with a supercar, rev it, rev it, you hear people saying that or you just wanna hear yourself or you're going through a tunnel. I mean, you got a big V10. It might be douchey, but I love the sound of it. I mean, who buys this car and doesn't love the sound? So for that reason, I have to throw it in neutral and, and, and it's so easy to throw it right in reverse. Now, I don't know about when you're like rolling or driving. I'm sure there's some kind of lockout mechanism, I would hope, and I'm not gonna try to find out. However, I was in New York City with the car one time, and we're at a car meet or a car event, and as we're all leaving, you got a ton of people in Times Square going, you know, rev it, rev it, and I did accidentally throw it into neutral, good thing I caught it, but I was throwing it into neutral and, you know, revving the car a couple times, and I got it down a little bit better, but a couple times I did accidentally put it in, in reverse, like imagine if I hit the gas then after putting it in reverse, you know, so that is something that is subject, but I wish it, this had this just because it's an easy way to throw it in neutral without screwing it up, I mean, I'll do it now, but it's such a light, see, even then, it's, it, oh, you have to, you also have to hit the button to throw it in neutral to rev the car. So then it, it's like not far to change it right into reverse. Like if you don't go half a click and you go one full click, you're in reverse. It's scary. The last thing that I hate about this car, and I don't know if I'm just being picky because it's a supercar, no trunk space. I hate that this car has very little trunk space. Um, but yeah, so even, even in the frunk, you know, it is still super, super small. And, and I understand that it's a supercar and it's, you know, it's not supposed to have too much room. However, and I know that the all wheel drive system plays a big part of, of, of how much space we have up there, but I feel like that's no excuse. And I'm going to explain why I had a, you know, a couple cars before this, I had a Porsche 911 turbo, another all wheel drive car plenty of frunk space this has like you can fit like one book bag you go to any other uh you know supercar and look at the frunk i mean this also applies to the huracan too the huracan has no room as well um i don't know which one has more i forget uh but still regardless no room you have i mean it's it's it it should at least fit two backpacks for you and your passenger especially if you're going on a road trip of some sort of me and ali wanted to take a trip and we're driving and you know we couldn't go too far you know, with clothing wise, you know, it's maybe two, three days tops. We want to take a road trip or be. Uh, and if you look at it like a four five, eight, you look at a McLaren, you look at, you know, I, the list goes on. There's a ton of supercars that have plenty of frunk space. And this just doesn't do it. I mean, I understand I have the little shelf, which is a little bit better than the Huracan, but I have the little shelf in the back that is helpful. Do not get me, get me wrong. And I probably could fit a backpack back there, actually, now that I think about it. A smaller one, especially for, like, Ali's clothes, because they're super compressed in size, like, compared to, like, my stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, that I think, should should have been better. That's, that's one design flaw that I think this car had. All right, guys, so I totally forgot to record an outro. I just realized as I was editing the video. So, um, I just want to say thank you if you made it this far. Um, and I also don't have an outro for the channel yet, but that'll uh, probably be done soon. What? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> or actually, you want to say bye? Maybe bye. You want to say bye? Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys uh, watched up to this far, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because we're just getting back into the content and it's gonna help me propel my way forward. So help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.